Hi boys and girls, families. It is Wednesday, June 17th. And today we are going to meet on Teams at 10.30 to watch the slideshow. It's pictures of you guys in the classroom and then remote learning and a little bit of the drive-by, the pictures that I had. But for now, I'm going to read a book for you. And it's called, I Can Be Anything, Don't Tell Me I Can't. And it's by Diane Dillon. And it says it has a Caldecott Medal of Winner. I don't know why they didn't put the medal on there. Usually they have the little emblem. I don't know why they didn't. All right, let's see. And it says, this book is dedicated to discouraging the frightened, negative little voice inside our heads that keep us from being all we can be. So they're saying inside your head, sometimes you have a little voice saying, don't do that. You can't do that. I can be anything I want to be. Jo Zoe stretched her arms and spun around. I'm a bird. I can fly up way up high, floating in the wind. What if you fall, says the little voice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dog fight. I won't fall. Birds have wings. If my wings get tired, I can fly in a rocket ship to a faraway planet. I'll meet planet people and have a tea party before I come home. What if you can't get home, says the little voice. Zoe ignored the voice. I can be an archeologist and travel around the world and dig up dinosaur bones and buried treasures. Well, I bet a lot of you would like to do that. The little voice says, what if you get homesick? You're too little, said the voice. But she could be anything she wants to be when she grows up. I'll be a veterinarian and help wild animals like tigers and bears and dragons. And I'll give them medicine to make them well. And I'll bandage their hurts. What if they bite you, says the voice. Oh, I'll be so gentle they won't bite me. They will know I am helping them. There's the dragon. Ooh, I know, I'll be a fire girl and rescue people. I'll drive a big fire engine with a loud siren that goes wee woo wee woo wee woo and rescue a kitty stuck in a tree. You can't drive a fire engine. That's silly, says the voice. It's not silly. I can be anything I want to be. And don't tell me I can't. I'll be an artist and paint pictures and a museum will hang them up so people can come and see them. What if you don't have talent, says the voice. Talent means that you're able to do it. She could try, right? Everybody has talent for something, and I, so do I. Besides, I'm smart. I can do anything if I try really hard enough, and you won't stop me. I can even be an ornithologist who studies birds or an oceanographer, oceanographer who explores the ocean. Yeah, I stuck that one. <laughs> or I could be a musician and give concerts all around the world. I could even be president if I want to be. You're just a voice and I don't have to listen to you. But I'm always with you, you know, says the voice, no matter what you do. You better be quiet or I'll be an alligator and eat you up, said Zoe. The voice didn't have an answer to that. He was silent again. I could be an astronomer and study the stars with a big telescope and discover new planets. Oops. I could be a famous chef and bake fancy cakes as tall as I am and write a book about my recipes. You can't write, the voice came back. Why not, you guys can write. But I'm going to learn how to write in school. Maybe I'll be a teacher and teach other kids how to write or I'll be a librarian and have a zillion books to share with everyone. You don't know what you want to be, do you? Said the voice. Go away, voice. I don't want to listen to you. I'm not grown up yet, 
and I can be anything. But first, I have to learn to read and read and read and read. And I'll read books about all the things I could be. Don't tell me I can't. The end. So boys and girls, you could be anything you want to be. You have your whole life ahead of you, right? What does she say? You need to read, right? Read all about them. You need to learn how to write, to read, to be smart, and you can do anything you want. I'll see you later on, teams. Love you.